Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Mushroom Bring you guys another video, guys. I'm kind of nervous for this video. I'm gonna be honest with you guys because this is my first ever live commentary where I actually play through the game and give you guys the best tips and tricks to get your first win in season five, you guys. Again, the season just started like I think three days ago. I already have over 30 wins, so that's like 10 wins a day. Insane amount of wins, guys. I can give you guys the best tips and tricks. So basically, in solo, if you want to win and you're trying to make it very, very far in the game. One of the new places to land is definitely risky to go, but because in the previous uh, how to win and your first game ever in season four or three, it was it was a little bit harder. You know, a lot of people weren't that good at the game, but now that we're getting at this season five level, there's a lot of new people at this game or a lot of good people at this game. They they just have experience, so. First thing we need to do is just f find a weapon. We need to find a weapon uh, before anyone else. We gotta land away from people. We don't want to challenge anyone if you land with someone else and they get their weapon. Oh my god, we got a sniper, really? Oh bad, 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 we got a shotgun. This is the best shotgun in the game. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. If you get the blue tactical shotgun, it's probably the shotgun you're gonna want to use if you're not good at switching weapons because using just a pump alone is definitely not the move and you cannot double pump anymore or anything like that. So again, you're gonna wanna try to have another shotgun. There's a guy in here somewhere. Very nervous, you guys, very nervous. But I'm gonna give you guys the best tips and tricks on getting your first victory out. So if you do land at this general, okay. The heck, where am I getting shot from? Oh, I see him, I see him. There we go. If you guys do want more tips and tricks on the channel, again, give the video a thumbs up. The more likes we get, the, the more that I'll bring you guys these videos because I know you guys enjoy this type of content. There's another guy over there. Oh, oh I hit him. There we go, let's go. All right, that's two kills. Someone else is here somewhere. Oh my god, I keep switching because I'm so used to the double pump that I'm, I'm I'm just automatically, my brain is triggered to like shoot your shotgun and switch to your other weapon instantly. So that's why I kept switching to my grenade uh, or my, uh, my what is it called? My uh, little baby pots. Because it's just instantly, my mind is just preset. Oh my goodness, there's so many people here. Oh, he sees me. Wait, where'd he go? Wait, where the heck did he go? Where is this Yo, what? This guy was invisible. There we go. All right, so as you guys saw right there, you guys saw the different tactics that I used right there. Um, that's what you want to do when it comes to an up-close fight like that, a shotgun fight. You're, you're going to want to do that. You're going to want to bob and weave. You don't want to really sit in one spot and just stand there. You're going to want to take a shot, jump up in the air, move left, move right, take a shot, move left, move right. And you're just going to want to bob and weave as much as you possibly can because it does help out a lot. Um, it helps the other person miss their shots a lot, and it makes it a lot harder for you to actually die. I promise you guys it actually works. This freaking car is amazing. Let me get some wood real quick because having mats is number one key. If you win your city, farm up. Get as much mats as you possibly can. I love this freaking car, dude. Drifting, it, you just get around the map so quick. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, my gosh. There's only one bad thing about this thing, and it's super loud. So if you pull up to somebody, they're going to hear you way before you hear them. And that's... Oh, somebody's on that hill. Oh, crap. He saw me. Oh man! Oh my goodness! He he's hitting his shots. He's got the scope. They are. This is personal. This guy has high ground, so I'm gonna show you guys how to take over the best high ground. When somebody has high ground like this, oh, it looks like he's running away. I think he's. Oh, he went through the portal. All right, I'm gonna follow him. Guys, this is personal. If someone has high ground like this, you don't have to follow them. But again, we're in season five, so you need to improve your skill if you want to get more wins. Because a lot of people towards end games, they're really good at, and they know what they're doing. So um, challenge people. Again, this guy, we're in the air. Come here, boy. Look at him. We're literally flying next to each other. I wonder if he's intimidated by me because I'm literally right on his butt cheeks. I'm not letting him go. I'm not letting him out of my sight. Look at him. This is hilarious. People probably think we're teaming. All right, here we go. I don't want to land right next to him because he's going to land first. I want to build instantly. So this way he does not get me. He's building very slow, so he's probably not that good at the game. Oh, there we go. Uh, someone else is shooting at me. I don't know from where, though. Let me heal up real quick. 
Yeah, guys, you want to make sure you heal up. Um, if you do want to get better at the game, you got to challenge everybody you see. I know it, it does suck because sometimes you're going to die a lot. But to get your first victory royale, it's time to start getting better at the game. It's time to stop camping. It's time to actually challenge people and push yourself to the limit and get some kills. Oh, this guy's pretty bad as well. Oh, choking my shotgun. Oh, he's super weak. There we go. All right, guys. Now, as you see, um, there was a blue tactical shotgun over there. Um, I just I just was busy right there, so I didn't want to mention it. But I'm going to rock the pump and tactical shotgun because I think, in my opinion, the only time the tactical shotgun is better is if you're running, like, squads or duos or something like that. But when it's only a 1v1 situation like this right here, um, you can go ahead and just run a pump and then a tactical weapon so that way you can kill people as quick as possible. Because if you're running just the shotgun, they can end up one-pumping you or getting a massive headshot damage on you. So I like to run the pump just in case if I get that headshot damage on them, it does help out a lot. Uh, the tactical shotgun is still very good. I'm, that's why I picked it up. All right, we're in the top five situation. We have a lot of mats. Hit these tiki guys, by the way. If you ever run by this, look at how much mats I'm going to get. 84. 90, 89 freaking stone off of that. Oh, there's a guy up there. We're going to take this rift. That's one good thing about uh, Season 5 is you can take rifts and you can challenge people. Like, if you guys saw earlier... People had high ground advantage on me, so all I had to do was take a rift, follow them down, or just take a rift and get close to them. I'm just bobbing and weaving right now. You never want to fly to someone directly straight. All right, let's get lower. We're going to double ramp, but we're going to roof over our head, so this way he cannot he cannot shoot it from above, get on the same level as him or above him. It sounds like he dropped down. I'm still going to just go up just in case. Build around you so you don't get sniped by anyone else, and just look down. Third person peek it, look down, try to see if you can see where he's at. Sound whore? Sounds like he's down here trying to break things. Oh, no, he's right here. Oh, crap, he cocked me. All right, instead of building, he is high ground. I'm just going to shoot him down. Oh, here he comes. Oh, I'm so one shot. Alright, this guy's not bad. Oh, there he is. Let's go, man. You see that right there? That's why you gotta rock the pump, because I just did 111 damage to, I think, a body shot? I don't think it was a headshot. It might have been a headshot, but it wasn't a critical headshot, but still. 111 damage with a pump. If I had a tactical, I probably would have had to hit him twice. It was my health only being 2 HP. I can't risk, I cannot risk having to take the time to shoot him twice. So that's why I'm glad I had that pump. I have a campfire, so we're going to heal up real quick. And then I think we're in a top top three situation right now. So this is good. This is really good that we're in the top three right now. We're just going to wait here, heal up. The storm, we still got plenty of time. I have a launch pad, so I can launch pad out of here. I, I'm pretty much safe. Uh, I just got to wait for these two to kill each other. Again, if you guys want to get more wins, you got to get better at the game. I know it sucks to say, like a lot of people listening to this probably don't want to hear that because they want they want to try to do their best that they possibly can uh, of getting free wins. But, you know, hard work pays off. So if you actually practice and play the game and challenge people, you will get better. I promise you guys that. And pretty soon... Uh, I'm going to be challenging you guys. When Playground comes out, we're going to be challenging subscribers and stuff like that. So we can practice together, get better together as a squad. I think the other two people are like southeast area. There's a launch pad over there. Yeah, they're over here fighting. I'm going to I'm gonna launch pad over to them. Just because I want to get aggressive. Again, if you want to get more wins. While people are fighting, when it comes down to a top three situation, you want to push in on it. Because... Once they're done fighting, you don't want to get in the middle of it, but once they're done fighting, you want to be there to clean it up just because they're probably super weak. Oh my god, edit. Oh, this dude had an RPG. Caught myself. Let's go. Alright, see, I screwed up because now now they probably are both going to focus me. Oh, it looks like one dipped out of here. And it's just this guy right now. The storm's closing in. So I gotta I got to pay attention to the storm. Try and see if I can get him. I can hear him. There he is. All right, we're going to bounce pad to him. I want to stay aggressive. Build, take your shot, build, protect yourself. You want to take as least and as mu as much damage as you possibly can. Ooh, we got a gold scar. I'm going to get that here in a second. Let me heal up real quick, you guys. 
But yeah, you want to take the least amount of damage as possible. So if the guy's not looking, take a shot, put up a wall. Take a shot with your shotgun, put up a wall. Um, it does help out if he has, like, the Tommy gun is out now. So it really makes it hard to uh, counter that. Because if they have a Tommy gun and they're just spraying constantly, there's nothing you can do about it. And they got a purple sniper? Okay. That's another thing I've been working on is trying to loot. Because sometimes I'm so focused and nervous that, like, I, I forget to loot and stuff like that. So I, I always miss, like, p legendary scars or legendary pumps and stuff like that. And people in the comments always roast me for it. So I'm trying my best to not forget anything. If I did, let me know down in the comment section below. But we're going to get high ground. We know that this guy's got to be in Dusty Divot. The thing that sucks about Dusty Divot now is there's trees everywhere. So this is, like, the new Wailing Woods. So it's going to be really hard to see people. Let's break this tree, get some wood, um, get it out of our way. But we're just going to get high ground. Last person alive, we're going to get high ground. We're going to try and see if we can find him. I can hear him running around. I just don't know where he is. Oh, there he is. All right, we're going we're gonna to rush him. We're going to get aggressive. Again, he's probably weak or scared. So if we get aggressive, it's going to scare him a little bit more. Woo! Let's go, guys. That's how you get a victory royale. First time, first game. With a live stream, you guys, ever on PC. I know a lot of you guys do want tips and tricks and stuff like that. So, again, if you guys please can, give this video a thumbs up. If this helped out at all, give the video a thumbs up. If you guys want a chance to earn Battle Pass for free, if you don't have it, give the video a thumbs up. The more likes we get, I will pick more winners for the Battle Pass. Again, thank you guys so much for all the love, support, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.